Hello, can you hear us? Say something. Can you hear, can you hear us? us? Yes. All right, awesome. Thank you, sorry about that. So. All right, well, welcome to Cocktails with Tia and the Jays. I'm Turquoise, my mom's Janice, Sister Janice, and we have a special guest, Mr. Lloyd. Um, before we go into too much, Lloyd, you want to give us a little bit of background about you? like Introduce yourself? Yes. Say that again? <laughs> Introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Lloyd. Um, I don't know what else you want to know. <laughs> you can't give us, you can't tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I just, I just found out I'm good at shooting pool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, um, I met Lloyd through social media. Like, we kind of used to get in the back and forth on Facebook and stuff and comments. And then we've had conversations uh, over the phone and all of that. And I figured he would be the perfect person to be on the show to discuss the topics that we're talking about today. Let's go ahead and dive on in. So the first story that we were talking about was the situation with lip gloss. Did you get a chance to look that up, what I told you to look up? Yes. And yes. so the situation with lip gloss is basically lip gloss is a, a creator on TikTok who she made a video about how she wants to embrace her 4C hair without manipulating it and where it's shrunken. And uh, like in just she made a comment saying, um, I can only pull, pull white boys with this hair. And it caused a discourse on Twitter where people just attacked her uh, saying it's because she's ugly. She looks like a burnt roach, just insulting this girl and attacking her on Twitter, uh, mainly black men and light skinned women that were attacking her on Twitter and on various other social medias. So I thought it would be a good topic to talk about because uh, there was a situation that I had with you where you brought up me wearing a wig on one of our shows. And I personally have a huge problem with people policing black women's hair. I think black women should be able to wear their hair any way they want to. And the fact that this was a girl that was actually embracing her natural hair and still got attacked proves exactly what I'm saying. It doesn't matter what we do. We're, we're damned if we do or we're damned if we, we don't. What do you think of that situation? Well, like I was telling you when we talked, I believe that you have a certain segment of black men who do like women with straight hair. You know, they don't like the- I would argue that it's the majority. You think it's the majority? Absolutely. I mean, I don't, I don't know because I see a lot of brothers, me personally, they be with women who wear their natural hair, whether they be twist, dreads, um, a fro, um, I don't think it's a majority of black men who think that way. I just think you have a flux of them on social media who be talking like that because that's what they see in the videos. That's what they're accustomed to seeing. That's what the media push put out there for them to see. It's a, it's a, you know, you got the exotic women, the light skinned women, the mixed women. That's what's constantly being pushed on us as a whole when it comes to what we see in general, with the music videos, the TV shows, you know, you see lighter skinned women with the straight hair, you know, you really don't see that um, dark skinned women being represented is in it, you know, with their hair natural like that, or the 4 C hair, like you say. So I think it's a bigger issue than just on the surface level of what we see. It's a lot of moving parts working, so. That's how, that's what I feel about it. Okay, but then the, the only reason why I say the majority is because um, uh, most star skinned women with 4C hair agreed with lip gloss with saying that she can only pull white men. There is a running joke in the black community about black women that are with white men and how they have a certain type of hair. And it's usually coarse hair. Uh, black women with white men usually get made fun of for their hair. And the fact that she said this was her experience and the fact that she got dragged for it. Some man created a, a hinge profile 
of her to prove that she can prove black men. That's how bad it is that he had to do that. Instead of a flex of a, a, a huge flux of black men going on her page and saying, hey, I'm a black man and I like natural hair, they created a dating profile, taking her pictures to prove that she can pull black men. What do you think of that? Oh, I think your mother want to say, oh, how are you doing? <laughs> Hi. I think she's or, please chime in anytime. I anybody always wanted please. to chime in about the part he said is kind of true, but in reality, you being a black man, you not around them kind of women you see on TV. You around women with natural hair. Do everybody in your city you be around got that straight hair, light skin, and stuff like that? No, I understand what you see on TV. That's what they people push on you. But hair. regular people is around you too. Aren't I think they? you're for natural hair, right? Yes. Well, he's yes. But I'm just hair. saying the the guys, like you said, be on there trolling. You think they around people like that with the straight hair, light skin, and stuff, or do you think they around people with natural? And one hair? thing I do want to say is, black women, we are exotic. Okay. <laughs> more excited than they know. <laughs> well, I, I do have a question for um Nisi because we talked about this. So I want to add this into it too. I mean, I don't when we I don't think the problem is just the women wearing that four C hair and and that's why guys don't want to. That's why black men don't approach them. I think a lot of the black men feel as though some of these women just unapproachable. By the way they carry, you know, by the way they carry themselves, by their demeanor, by the way they, they, you know, it could be some off-putting about that woman. It just doesn't have to be because she, they don't like her natural hair she got on her head. It could be other components at work too. So you got to well, factor. I can agree with that. I can agree with that for you sure. Factor that. You got to factor that in too, because a lot of us black men, we get discouraged a lot when we approach a woman, and not only it, it's one thing for us to get turned down, but to get flat out disrespected. Mm. That's another thing. Mm. I could take rejection. You know, you tell me, oh, I'm not interested in talking. I just go about my business. I say, have a nice day. Cool. But you got these women out here that just take it to another level and they find out disrespectful. And a lot of brothers get discouraged and they say, man, I'm not going to say nothing to this sister. I'm going to just go about my business. Go about my day. Just, just say hell with it. I'm just, you know, not say anything. Just to keep from a confrontation. Mm. So you got you to gotta factor that in too. You, yeah, you know, yeah, some stuck up black women, but all black women ain't like that. Obviously, she is not because she got on there and was proud of her hair, and then she got dragged. It's just sad how we and don't the way stick she together. Got yeah, it the way it is by the dragged. black black men. That's what we care about because most white men would approach her, but. It's sad that the black men act like that. Well, I get what he's saying about saying that some black women aren't approachable. Mm -hmm. But when it came to her, she she's was. not that type of mm -hmm. a woman. She's not some uh, person that carries herself in a bad way. She's clearly a respectable woman mm -hmm. from the TikToks and her content that I have seen. So it's not just that. And then plus, it's that's like that for anybody. I think she even made a video about approaching strangers for romantic relationships is weird. It makes more sense if you know somebody because you when you get to know somebody that's what gives you the ability to like them you don't mm -hmm. just approach people you don't know so it's just a weird concept so I get you know not wanting to approach women and, and that's fine because I can tell you me I don't want to be approached like please don't leave me I, I don't but, I, hey, but I, I won't be disrespectful but hey, like, I won't be disrespectful it, but it I don't want to be approached somebody, hey, I don't want to be you don't think nobody look good no it's not it's not even hey, about I looks. go on a date with you <laughs> no it's not I even know. about you I think her, the whole point of her video was completely it was because yeah. all it was it was just because, about her hair yeah. and the fact that there was this, the comments that were made in response to her video they, they were literally there was men saying oh um, I wonder what monstrosity they would create if she breeded with this white man and then other black men saying oh that child would probably be flawless considering how genetics work literally but acting like men that don't like 
black women period and how can you not like a black woman and well, you black doesn't matter, and then how can you talk about their hair and your hair is the, the same, same way yeah that's weird your hair is exactly like her my if issue, you're a black man the reason why this topic like really stuck out to me personally uh, is especially after my our situation with my situation oh, with you that's a good uh, on that. Y'all my situation that. with you I felt like this is so weird to me that all people can talk about is black women's hair. I I, I see, you know, people we get hair, uh, hair hatted hooligans online. They call us weave heads. They call us addicted to weave. And then when the natural girls are shunned, they call nappy headed. I seen a video of a girl, just beautiful girl with her big, flowy afro just out and I'm some man you, recorded her and an saying afro. oh i know you're hot with that big ass bush on your head or they usually tell us to comb our hair when yeah. we're natural that our hair isn't done so it's just like the obsession with black women's hair is so weird to me to me it's weird the guys that's on there talking about black women they can't get one and I did just want to touch real quick about the guy making a dating profile for her. Mm -hmm. I feel like the best approach would have been for him to like hop in her DMs like, hey, I think you're gorgeous. You know, I would that's, date you yeah, and I'm a black man. Yeah, Why that's, go that's, and make a whole dating profile? He was it kind of proves her so. point. The yeah. fact that they dragged her so. instead of saying, hey, we think you're beautiful yeah. proves exactly what she said was correct. And not a lot of people came to her defense. So, um, I told you how I felt about when we talked, when we spoke over the phone. I told you to say it for the show. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, I, that. Uh, I think all that Twitter is toxic anyway. That when it comes to quote unquote black Twitter, me and myself personally, I stay off there because it's a very toxic space. I don't, I don't. I don't use that as a barometer to what I deal with in real life oh, because so people also, also well, let me well, let me finish. Yeah. yeah. Because I deal with stuff on a real life level, my experience that I speak from, the people who I talk to, mm -hmm. the people who I can relate to, mm -hmm. the people who I'm friends with, the people in my family, so I can get an observation, so I can come up with, okay, these are people are in real life. Some of them people you got online, you deal with, they, they put on a certain image or they act a certain way to get a certain point across or to get, you know, them the views or whatnot. So I'm, I'm, I try not to, I'm glad you I said try, that. I agree. I try not to go too much off of that because like, like, like your mother said, it's a lot of trolls. It's a lot of people who just want to aggravate people, push buttons. They don't want to have no real conversation. They don't want to have no real discussion about anything. They just they just there to cause havoc and chaos, mm -hmm. and it, and and it keep the arguments going between black men and black women, and mix it up. It could be uh, white people behind them profiles sometimes. You know, yeah, I, I, a lot I, of the they, they always that's a, that's a part. I'm not making no excuses. But I'm not making no excuses up. They black. can't. No, they no, can. I'm, no. I'm they saying like a lot of people say like that, that, but most of these people are definitely black. But I'm no, I, I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, I know some. I know most. Yeah, you, you got black people Why saying that. Black. Only thing I want to say is y'all have it hard because back in my day, all I dated was black men, and they didn't care if my hair was in the afro or straight. They like to me for me this newfangled stuff where so you know and back then where the was popular yeah they were i'm telling you if you didn't have your afro Natural and then you had popular. to work on your hair nobody everybody wakes up and do something to their hair they always say oh well she had to manipulate her hair you wake up and come is that manipulating it because they have a beautiful afro you need to braid it and then take it down and it is the most beautiful thing you ever seen well, yeah. uh, black hair is definitely beautiful but one point i want to make about what like what lloyd said uh about the social media thing that like that's exactly my point but isn't it sad that why is it when it comes to black people that we show out the worst on social media like that doesn't make any sense to me and then on top of that like this girl was we speaking of her anyway. yeah well, yeah but uh, this girl was speaking of she was speaking of her real life experience she experiences only being approached by white men 
skin when she has her natural hair. That's her real life. And people on social media went on to use social media to try to prove her wrong. No, they didn't try to prove they, her wrong. They just they were wanted to embarrass That was her. what their uh, reasoning was. That's I did an experiment to try wrong. to prove her wrong. You can't prove that, her experience Like you wrong. said, they should have just went her DMs and asked her on the day. Yes, I think you're her, You could have changed right? her experience yeah. by yeah. telling her you well, liked her hair. Creating a, a dating profile and dragging her talking about how she looked horrible mm. and she like a burnt roach. That was... Her point. But you know Why what she I goes, love she what she said? Approach, especially they think she's a black roach. Right. Yeah. But what I love oh. what she said, it should not affect you if somebody think you call you beautiful, beautiful or, or ugly. ugly. Yeah. You should be proud. Happy. That's the yeah. smartest she, 19 she's nineteen year old I ever seen. Yeah, like, like if you smart. go to her TikTok, like I, I encourage all everybody, please go follow Lip Gloss be, on TikTok because like you can't find any lie. All her videos are facts. Like all her videos is facts and she has a lot of knowledge for somebody that's just 19 years old. Like I'm like, oh, did, like I was telling my niece, I was like, I love the fact that you Gen Zers are like so smart that you guys like seem to have it figured out. They confident in themselves. My, my niece loves her natural hair and you can't tell her otherwise, I don't, if, whether you tell her it's beautiful or not, she know her hair is no. beautiful. And that's basically the situation with lip gloss. Mm -hmm. She's like, I know I'm beautiful. I don't need you to validate me. Mm -hmm. But the fact that people wanted to drag mm -hmm. her down is what, like. But to me, them is people that's unhappy no matter what. Black men that's very, very unhappy. It don't matter. They black just... women, too, because there are black women attacking her. Okay, well, they black are... women. Okay. okay. Women they the worst, her. then. They the worst. Because yeah. if you got some black and you, your hair is still different. From so, just being straight. They said that she wasn't pulling black dudes because she had armpit hair. So, and that she put her lotion on after she put on her outfit on her stomach. <laughs> Maybe she put extra lotion. Maybe she lotioned up before she put on her clothes. It was the and stuff they were saying about her. Was as, wild. as she was doing it though, a little extra. She mm -hmm. already had lotion up. That's yeah. just somebody being ignorant. Yeah. The stuff they were saying about her was wild. Oh my goodness, man. But that's what dark skin, and then you know what? There were so many other dark skin girls. Like she started a movement. Mm -hmm. There are so many other dark skin girls that have 4C hair that she inspired to rock their hair shrunken without, you know, feeling like they have to stretch it to make it look long. And it was a beautiful thing to see. And the fact that that just completely got overlooked by this situation mm -hmm. is like tragic. And then most of these girls are saying the same exact thing. She's Amazing. I only get approached by non black men. When Nisi. I have this hair, Anissi, mm -hmm. have you heard of the um, dark skin activist? Dark skin activist. Her, uh, her name is Rashida Strober. She's the she's the first dark skin activist. She's on YouTube. She be speaking on behalf of the dark skin sisters. Her name is Rashida Strober. Ah, yes, I remember her. I was thinking about her the other day. As a matter of fact. When the situation came up, I do remember her because she, she had did a video some years ago uh, about people saying how like the cat Kardashians look like look better than women that look like her. I remember you know, that I'm video. I'm tired of them bringing up them stank ass Kardashians. Ain't nothing on them. <laughs> Ain't nothing on them real but probably they hair. And then, <laughs> that's uh, not they real either. Were, were, <laughs> uh, that's no, not I real meant either. that they hair is straight. <laughs> I mean <laughs> that their hair is straight, not that it's their hair, because yeah. everybody wears something in their hair. Everybody to make it their hair. Yeah, black hair are the only ones that get yes, the, Yeah, like, like you know I, what? that's what that's I don't sad. get. Like, why are y'all so worried about our hair? You know why? It makes, it's our hair. Do what you, what you want with you, with we your hair. Man, a uh, black man get on there and drag all black women, they can't get a black woman, and they mad. So they get on I don't even drag. think it's necessarily I, that they it. can't get a I'm black telling woman. You, I'm uh, telling you what I know for a fact. Go to their <laughs> profile and take a look at them. Take a look at them while they talking about her. Go to their profile. Just take a look at their picture. Oh, shit, you was scared. <laughs> you know, goddamn. No wonder why you talking about us. Because you <laughs> shit. You know, just... My dukes, that's how my mind I'm is. sorry. Mm -hmm. no, I she forgot, right. she I forgot. forgot. we was recording this. Mm -hmm. I got excited. <laughs> it's true. Black men that drag black women off their hair, they shouldn't, because if they had any hair on their head, it's they the exact same hairline. Yeah, it's the exact same way. So mm -hmm. they know what we're going through.
people that should be sympathetic with us they can go to the barbershop and cut off all their hair if they want and, to, and you know what's funny is when black women do cut their hair, like when they do the big chops and they have the little afros, they get they called masculine. Talk about, yeah, they masculine. call us masculine. But they I call tell you, no matter what, I yeah, did the big chops. If they were independent, yeah. yeah. Masculine. I was yeah, gonna yeah, say they called me a. Yeah, they say yeah. Oh, the, uh, our dad said, he said uh, well, well uh, we figured out that the guy needed to talk to me. It's like, oh, he talking to a man, talking to your mama. <laughs> yeah, he should know better than anybody because he was married to me. But hey, <laughs> I ain't no man. I just stand up for myself. I just figure everybody should stand on what they believe. But to, if you ain't got nothing nice to say to me, you shouldn't say nothing at all. Yeah, I just because you miserable and unhappy, don't try to send that all around the world. Yeah, you know, I agree. don't spread misery. Yeah, misery loves, that misery loves company is a saying for a reason. That's them trolls bothering that girl. I'm telling you, it was just wild to me because it's so funny because I I see so much online and you know this boy from like our conversations that we've had that and just on social media period you'll tag me and stuff you know that you think is wild, but how women black women particularly when we do wear weaves and wigs how we get dragged for that and then you finally we get this girl who's like trying to encourage black women hey and then in a positive way like she's not saying oh uh i hate weaves and wigs she's saying i want to embrace my authentic self like she did it in such a gentle like, way uh, i didn't cut you off but you said the reason the, re the main reason she got dragged is because she mentioned she could only pull white men. Yes. That problem came in. That's that's when you said they had a problem with. But that was such a small portion. And it, it was like a throwaway joke. It was such a small portion of her video. Her video was almost a minute long. And that was like two seconds of the video. And the oh. fact that they took that that little sentence, yeah, like right most away. of the video was just her looking, you showing her hair in her shrunken state, saying how she doesn't manipulate it, how she didn't want to like stretch it, how she was going to wear it out mine. that day. Yeah, and then she was like, and then she like throw away saying she literally, these were her exact words. She said, I can only pull white men with this hair, but I'm not mad. Like she said it so un, like just throw away, like it wasn't even a big deal. But why do you feel like it was a problem? When she said well, because it, it was it was perceived by a lot of brothers that she was low key throwing shade at black men. Ha! They don't they don't and like those a show about they self esteem. She never mentioned she didn't black, say black men. men though. She never but mentioned this, them. But, she but mentioned, they were mad because they wasn't mentioned. But <laughs> no, she, but, she but was, to she to feel, for black men to say that. You, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. I'm sorry. But that's the way it, it was perceived by them. They, they, she was throwing low key shade by saying she could only pull black on white men, you know, and black men don't, you know, black men don't like her but natural. So that can go for also Hispanics. You yeah, know, and she, and didn't, Asians. She, yeah, yeah, she, she didn't, didn't say she, she, she didn't only white so it wasn't men. anything towards only well because she didn't mention she any didn't other mention race. Any, she yeah, just, if only race was mentioned was white boys. She said she could pull. So that can go white for boys. any other. And, and their Asians man. weren't offended. Mexican yeah. men weren't offended. The Latino men weren't offended. Yeah. Were you offended? Well, I, no, I wasn't. I didn't. I didn't. Re well, I wasn't offended by it because. It is what it is. I mean, it's just, you know, she didn't I, say I didn't say that wrong. Saying, you don't want to say that, but she didn't say no, anything. No, I, she didn't I, I mean, but I'm just, black men. I'm just saying what they, what the majority of brothers probably say, oh, listen, oh, she low key throwing shade at us, you know, she talking about she can't, she can only pull okay. white man. So it's like, okay, whatever. That's how, that's how they perceive it to me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, like, you know why I think black men perceived it that way because they weren't even mentioned. I think black men perceived it as shade towards them because they they were thinking she was saying she was going to go out and get a white man. That's not what she said. She wrong. said even if she did say that, a lot of black men put other ethnicity of women uh, on a pedestal. They, they literally they tell say, us all the time. I prefer Hispanic women. Mm -hmm. I, prefer yeah, or I like woman. white women and when you so, ask them why, it's usually 
a bunch of lists of why they hate black women. They yeah. hate black women because she did strong. say that would have been an issue. Everybody has their preference. And I think yeah. black men think that black women think the same way that we they do. I think black men think because of them putting white women on the pe- pedestal by sliding black women that they think a black woman saying she can only get white boys is somehow an insult to them, even though they weren't even mentioned. Mm. They weren't even mentioned. And, and that mm. is the experience. I can say, I wear my natural hair and I'll wear weave and I'll wear braids. I'll wear my hair however the fuck I want to because I'm a grown ass adult and I can do what the fuck I want to do. I'm not thinking about anybody else's feelings towards it. It's about how I feel about me. And she was talking about how she felt about her. Mm-hmm. And the fact that people took that and ran with it and just, and they proved her point. Mm-hmm. She really clearly can only pull white dudes in her life. Because look, look how the black men responded. Look yeah. how the black dudes yeah. responded. I didn't see a slew of black men coming to her defense. Mm-hmm. I saw a few black men coming to her defense. Oh, it was mostly uh, black women oh. coming to her defense. Listen, I guarantee if that woman was to walk in my area, if she was to walk outside around here, it'd be a, a, a gang of brothers trying to talk to her. Mm. No and matter how. Where you live at? Area. I'd probably be one of them. Where you, know, you live? <laughs> what? Where you live? I'm in DC. Oh. Okay. okay. Um. You guys can go on to a different topic. Yeah, we can go into a different topic. I just, okay. I, I thought you were the perfect person to discuss that particular situation because of you know conversations we've had and you know what you have said to me before and you explained it to me and I appreciate it. Thank you very much uh, and apologize to me for what you said. So thank you for that. But I just want to get this out there that like, I'm proud of lip gloss. I'm glad of what she's doing, but I think people need to leave black women's hair alone. Mm -hmm. If if you don't like a woman with weave, then don't talk to a woman with weave. If you like a natural woman, then talk to a natural woman. Mm -hmm. And the fact that this natural woman, the way she got dragged is like, (laughs) there's no winning for you. Just do what the fuck you want to do. And aside from, because it was about the, the comment that she made that she can only pull white men with her hair. Even if she does have a, a certain preference, so does everybody. Everybody. So yeah. they should just let it be. Oh mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, let's see. Any other topics that you guys want to discuss? I know you and Lloyd go back up back and forth a lot. Yeah, but you had some talk of topics that were lined up for us already. I, I that was my main topic was the lip gloss situation. Okay. I know because we haven't done the show in like three weeks, I think. Sorry, but y'all, for the delay. We, we've had some stuff going on. For the five people that watches. Uh, <laughs> Tyrese and his girlfriend oh, had a yeah, breakup. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that. I don't have anything to say about that, though. You don't? No. What's that? What happened? Uh, I, uh, no, well, apparently maybe now can't, the maybe girl... Maybe can't hear, he can't hear uh, The girl now is apologizing to yeah. him and all this other stuff. But the thing is, is because first it was the, you know, Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan breaking up. And then it was uh, Tyrese uh, whining on social media about the girl, him and his girlfriend breaking up, who both of these girls were in their 20s and a lot younger than these men. And how there's this like um, thing going on in social media, how they say women over 30 are left over and all this other stuff. And and they're trying to settle down with these young 20 some year old women <laughs> and, and, and they don't want it. The young 20 some year old women don't want it. And it's almost like, and then men on social media go crazy and get mad about it. But they're still in their whole phase, though. It, it's not a whole phase. I, yeah, I, it, whole I wouldn't phase. call it a whole phase. It's well, like, yes, it is. Dating. I mean, because then... It's dating. When they, when they, dating. Well, How they going to find what okay, they so like they, if they don't date? Listen, okay, call it whatever you want it. Call it. You know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the, it's still a whole And then why is it a they whole thing do, for women when men knowingly go out fucking everything under the sun? And and they, call it that whole thing. Thing. <laughs> they call it sewing your wild oats. That's right. Maybe listen. she's sewing her wild oats. Yeah, she's sewing hey. her wild oats. Well, well, listen, okay, that's cool. But then the problem is when you sit around and wait until you get until in your what? late 30s. Until you get in your late 30s and you're 35. That's not, you don't your brain you had to fully develop until you you're 25. Why would you be settling listen, before then? Listen, listen. I'm saying when you wait. Until you get in your late 30s and then you had a couple of kids, two or three kids. I mean, ain't no man going to want to really deal with that marriage you got to that. You know what I'm saying? You the 
Most what? men want to start their own. Why do uh, few most, most, think they can speak for all men? Because y'all all don't like the same thing. And the network well, I ways not the only because men will have five, six, six kids, kids by five to six, not, six women. There's tons. Like, look at Future. Look at Nick Listen, Cannon. The, the, the men who saying the same thing I'm saying, that we don't have a bunch of kids. We it's, just don't. Y'all don't have a we bunch don't. of kids. Y'all don't have a bunch well, of options. Well, either, just ask this. Do you have a girlfriend? That's something I'm talking to. Huh? I got something I'm talking to, yes. Oh, okay. Do she have any kids? No. Oh. How old is she? She older than is she you in or her younger? 20s? Is she in her 20s? Yeah. <laughs> how what how old? Why you wanna know that? Yeah, we know? don't have to know her and you on the open way. You don't have to but know you that. in your late thirties or your early thirties. Yeah, okay, she she under thirty. No, I want to know your age. I'm 39. Oh, okay. So, okay. But you dating the woman you just said was, you said she 29? 20 something. No, she uh, said she's 30. in her 20s. She's under 30. Oh, she under 30. So, but you going to marry her before she hit 30 because when she hit 30, she going to be what? An old maid? Did you kind of say? <laughs> I ain't say all that. He said that you wait till you in your thirties and forties after you didn't have a bunch of kids and then want to Everybody settle don't down. Have a bunch but of kids because they what if you don't meet? What if you don't meet the one until you know you in your thirties? I'm not saying have a bunch of kids or whatever, but what if you don't meet that person? There are people that get married in their fifties. Okay, like I, I don't think it's right to put an age limit on when you can find the one. Everybody gets married at different stages. Mm -hmm. And the actual average age for marriage is 30. To be honest, you should not get married when you're young because really you don't know, no, really know you what don't you know. want. That's what dating and stuff, you don't uh, know. You should get married in your late 40s and stuff when you're ready to 30s, settle down. Because I got 30s. married early. Yeah. Early. And he was, was even younger than me. That's kid. why we didn't last because as we got older, we changed. Yes. We wasn't the same kids that we were. But I was spitting out them babies, though, so I'm proud that I have my kids. But in my younger age, I should have sold my wild oats yeah. and then got married. Yeah, because uh, her and my dad, they've been together since they were teenagers. Yeah, and or, it didn't and, last. And it didn't because last we changed, because they were too young. The same. They were too, and, and then statistics even show that most divorces are couples that married in their 20s mm -hmm. and teens. Mm -hmm. So why That's change? because they don't know. Yeah. So to say, oh, you're you're waiting to your no, that's the right thing to do. It is. It really is. Myth, you're not you, you mature. You mm -hmm. learn what you don't like and what you'll accept and what you uh will accept. You also learn how to be a better person. You can fix that self where self accountability comes in because mm -hmm. twenty and seventeen year olds and eight seventeen to twenty five, they they're not fun. accountable they for half the shit they, they 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 like to blame everything on everybody. You you don't really start holding yourself accountable until you hit 30. And it's good to have life experiences too. Yes. And that's how you learn so, what you don't want mm -hmm. and what you do want. That is life experience. And you can't tell a woman not to have a life experience. experience but I will mm -hmm. tell you this. I did date black men. So that's what I'm saying. The older black men, which I'm old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She said, hey, hey, that's wrong. She, she said, I dated those black men, which was dark skin. She said, no, you like that black man. Dark and dark skin is beautiful. My mom was that karma wasn't cutting it with my daddy. She was dark chocolate. <laughs> she's like, she's like, but yes. anyway, I'm telling you, it's nothing wrong with oh getting married God. when you're in your late 30s and early 40s. Okay, what would be a good time to have kids then? I probably wouldn't have had no kids. Well, well, what's a good age for a woman to have kids? To have kids you can have when, you, when you're ready. Yes. yes. When you're ready. Because didn't Holly Berry have her first kid at 40? Mm -hmm. her first, and then she had another kid since then, like she was like 45. Uh -huh. is, so is there, there's a woman in the 60 that just had a baby. Oh, it just, isn't it, it depends. It just isn't it a risk for old, isn't it a risk for black women who are older to have It's a risk at any kids. age. The majority no, I thought it was old. I, I gotta look that up. You, you have to look at the, the if you look at the mortality birth rates for black women, it don't matter what age we are. It's you all sure about that? Yes. Yes. 
look at that. Serena Williams, young, healthy athlete, almost died giving birth to her daughter because she got a blood clot that nobody noticed. Mm. She until days later, she like couldn't breathe. Or okay, how old breathe. was her? How old was Serena? How old was Serena? When she, had she was. She was a. Uh, I don't even think she had hit thirty yet. I don't even think she hit thirty yet when she had her daughter. But what killed me about now? But I'm then, just talking then, to him. Wait a minute. You saying have a baby? You should have your kids young, but then don't want pe- people to have kids. Right? How is that possible? We're literally telling you no, these I, relationships I said, don't work out. You're saying you're 35 with three no. kids wanting to settle down. That's because I, she tried to settle down young, had these kids, she was, and now she was 40. That's Serena was 40. She was 40 when she had her daughter. She was 40. Yeah, that's she was for her age. Oh, that's, that's true. Yeah, though. I'm like that. Don't even sound. I don't think Serena was 40 yet. Yeah, she was. Yeah, I know she was old. I know she, she was in the forties. Yeah, she was in the forties. She was in the forties. Was yeah. That. And you well, said you don't have age. no kids, and you in your late thirties, thirty nine. So yeah. you're worried about what about your children? Do you plan on having children? Yeah, about with the right woman. Yeah, of course. Okay. Do you know that your sperm, as you get older, also can be unhealthy for the baby? Your baby could come out with defects while you're talking about, about women that. being older. Be in his forties when he have his kids. What you say? What you say? I, I said, did you know that with the your sperm levels do change as you get older as a man? Men love talking about women not having babies older, but they also, they're not having healthy babies either as they get older a lot of the time. They could come out with birth defects. No, I'm talking and about the woman. A woman I'm, who's older has a baby. I'm talking about the woman. having it with older men. I'm talking about the woman's personal health when she gives birth at a certain age. Not, you know, when it comes to, you know. When she gives birth at a certain age, do you know? Do you know the magic of a woman's body? The magic of a woman's body. If she's able to get pregnant at forty and give birth at forty, she will be okay. Yeah, there are risks, like I said. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the only thing I'm saying. There I'm not saying it can't be done. Though, that's the only thing I'm. That's the only thing I was saying because my grand, my late grandmother, she gave. She, she was almost fifty. Uh, yeah. She had my mother. So I, I know it, it it can't be done. I'm just talking about the risk of it. That, that's the only thing I'm saying. Everything is a risk. Everything is a risk. That, that's, 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 outside right now. There's, there's a risk of a ten year old giving birth. She can die. It doesn't. It's that. There's always what? a risk. Risk is risk come with life. Period. Everything could be a risk. You just going outside may be a risk. You I can walk out in the middle of the street, get hit by a car <laughs> right now. Everything is a, a risk. risk. Everything is a risk. Okay. So why discourage it? <laughs> Everything is a risk. You trying to you trying to do it, but hey, it's three women against you. I applaud you. Hey, you I think applaud I did. you because you trying we to get against them. them. We having a conversation. Yeah, I'm trying to hide there. I'm trying to. A lot of stuff, man. No, this let's, is not let's go to dark topics. Hey, this is his boy. Let's go to dark topics. Go. Let's go to another topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you guys want to talk about Macy Gray comments about trans women, oh, she's great. Uh, yeah, Macy Gray's comments about trans women and not being not women. being women. I will say this: me personally, I trans women are trans women. It's it's a form of their womanhood, um, but I don't think it's fair to put us all under the same category, like cis women, women that are born uh, biologically women. Uh, I guess you could say that's where the term female could be appropriately used. There's a difference between a female and a male. Cis women are female. And trans women are trans women that happen to be, they, they're male, but they're trans women. So I respect the trans community. I, I don't think it's right to try to dehumanize them by saying, oh, no, they're just not women. No, they're their own community of women. Trans women are trans women. But cis but women are Don't try to come in the bathroom with me if it's a lady's bathroom. But the trans... I'm here for you. Uh-uh, because you still... I don't think there's a problem with that. I have a problem with that. We use the bathroom with men all the time. 
different. Some of the trans a home bathroom. Some of the trans oh, women don't like that. That's what Macy Gray was saying. Like she's not dissing trans yeah. women, but they're not women, right? And they don't like. She should have said they, they're not female. They don't well, like. I, it doesn't and, matter. They're not a woman if you wasn't born one. I think it's. I think it. Um, it disrespects the real women. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? It is calling a you know a transgender woman a, a woman. I think it's disrespectful to a real woman. Mm. And then it's society trying to condition and program people now to call them women and say, "Oh, he, uh, she, her, and all that." If you don't do that, you get you canceled. If you're a celebrity. I'm yeah. like, you can identify yourself any way you want to identify yourself. That's fine. Yeah, it's your life. Like, it's your life. You can yeah. identify yourself any way you want to. It's your life. But I don't think you should be mad at other people for not accepting Agree. it yeah, or accepting. agreeing with it. Yeah. I, I think it's okay for other people. As long as you accept you, mm -hmm. that's all that matters. Because I don't accept But it. I do yeah. think trans women are their own community of women, but they're not female. And right. I do want to say, I don't never really hear this conversation when it comes to, like, trans men. Like, right. I don't really hear, you know... That's because you can't... Well, even though you can't tell with a lot of women, there's beautiful trans women. I think a lot of trans women are beautiful. But I think because it's not really like a big deal like when you mentioned the whole bathroom thing uh there's a trans man that was like uh if, if they there was a bill saying that because of him being trans man he has to use one he was built look like look like a burly and i man. want you coming in the bathroom with me so he should be going into the boys and bathroom. my little well, kids exactly i do want to yeah. i do want to say this though there have been a few situations lately in the um prisons and jails where they allow trans women to That's true to be in the facilities with women and they've been and they're impregnating being impreg yes they're impregnating they're, them because yes. they know damn well they ain't well, no i have a question for you will how y'all feel about um trans women in sports okay i think it's, it's not fair for them to compete against women, women. Mm -hmm. that's unfair yeah i i don't because think uh, I mean, it especially when you think stronger. about, oh, God, what is the name of the run runner? Uh, the runner who, she's a biological woman. She's a cis woman. But she has high testosterone levels and, like, she keeps getting banned and stuff. I'm like, you can't say allow trans women in sports, but you're literally you discriminating a, a biological a woman. woman. Yeah. And I don't think they should be in sports against women because they're not a woman. I think they honestly should have they their should own be, Yeah, yeah. Know. Get your own sport thing if you don't want to get out there and, and do sports with the men. But then, but then you got to deal with that issue of inclu inclusiveness. Like they, well, like inclusiveness, they, like they inclusiveness would be for them to have their own class. Like for in boxing, there's <laughs> lightweight, heavyweight, and all of this. There's certain classes to it. Like so, I think it should be for trans people. Yeah. But but then we're talking so, about like, so that they're not discriminated against. They should be able to participate. So we're not discriminated yeah, against because yeah, well, they know damn but well they can still look beat at us in some sports. They still they still look at that as discrimination though. But, but you that's know, not if you have a shit. category. That's, that's why because they full of shit. That, yeah, that because was, if you're included, if they actually uh, make a category for you to be included, you can't say that it's exclusion. And, and you know what they gonna call it? They gonna call it segregation. But it's already <laughs> segregated yes, then, because there's the white world was We really still well, segregate. But that is already the when it comes to people. sports, they already have certain levels to it where certain groups compete against each other. Are, it's them, already them like that. What they call transgender sometimes. But, but listen, Very, we're talking about a, we're talking about this need for acceptance again. So they're not gonna they're not gonna be cool they'll with have that their own because it's not them being it's not that they're not being accepted. Mm -hmm. It's, I'm it's, talking about what, doing stuff against what they identify their own, the same people. That's kind of like people saying that calling out that segregation is like saying that the WNBA is segregated from the NBA. Mm -hmm. This is not. It's not though. Well, you got it's the, women's and women's. Well, women. You got exactly. men and women. And one can be and trans right, women. Right, one can be trans right, men. That's what right. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But you see what I'm saying, Nisi. You see what I'm. I'm talking from how they're going to perceive it. How the LGBT community going to 
perceive that and if that, that was to happen. Be, that may be, but they don't even have to give you that. You don't have it now. You, it's something other than nothing. You're right. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's going to be people that have a problem, but there also might be LBGTQ people that are like, you know what, that, at least they it are trying sense. to include Yeah, us. that makes sense because yeah, you ain't about to run track with me. And you but they're not going to view it as included. They're not going to... Well, gonna if, 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 how is it not inclusion when you're running side by side with other trans women and men? I'm saying they they gonna <laughs> feel like they got they are they gonna be they gonna wanna be with the real women because they, that's what that's they like identify. That's like the woman say I wanna run with the boys. They're gonna, I wanna they, play football listen, with boys. And they, listen, if they identify as real women, that's who they I gonna say, wanna they, compete. They, like I just they're said, they can't. They're, 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 they're can't. trans women. They you can't say I, they're real women. They're listen, trans women. I'm agree. I'm I mean, agreeing with you. The term real women is just they weird. I'm a, I'm agree. Yeah. Listen, I'm agreeing with mean, what you what saying. They call it cis women. Natural. I I agree with what you say. I'm agree with what you're saying, but I just I'm telling you how they're gonna perceive that. I'm agreeing with everything you're saying, but I'm just telling you how that community. I mean, we'll proceed what you said. That's that's the only thing I'm saying. That's it. That's the only thing I'm saying. That's true. And it's called it's called be an issue. If that yeah. was to happen, it would be an issue. Well, what what is my mom? Uh, my, 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 mom say, my mom always says she's like, well, you better scratch your ass and get glad. Okay, <laughs> we not We ain't got to do stuff with transgenders. They need their own. They, what, and I love everybody. I, love I, I don't have a problem. I agree. But what killed me is they want to be a woman. They yeah. wasn't born a woman, and now you want to do sports with a woman. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with trans people. I just think they need to, if they want to have a problem with trans people, yeah. I don't I have a problem with it, but you but need nothing, your own stuff. Yeah, but it's nothing. But I definitely city. wouldn't want to box against my right, trans friend. Right. You know, I, I definitely want to, wouldn't want to have, I think if we both want to box, we should be in different categories. Mm -hmm. okay. You should be over there with our transgender friends. And, and I will be with the cis one. Mm hmm. I think that's fair. It is. And I don't think that's unreasonable. Just like when you apply for jobs with certain qualifications you have to have for that. Yeah, job. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's, it, it wouldn't be fair for me to go up against somebody that has a, I don't know, freaking master's degree and I'll just have a diploma. Mm -hmm. That's right. not segregation. Mm -hmm. that, that's just, it's levels to this yeah. shit. Yeah. It's levels. Like they say, it's levels to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's levels to this shit. I, I mean, I, I I get what y'all are saying, but you know, it, that was the happen. I'm not playing devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we just, that's always it's good having a conversation with somebody besides ourselves. <laughs> so it's good you came on. Yeah, thanks for coming on, Lloyd. You know, he had, ever since our show started, he's been saying, "Hey, I'll do y'all show," and I know you are going to be doing your own show. You want to tell us about that? Oh yeah, I'm thinking. I don't know if you heard of Blog Talk Radio. I don't know if it's still a thing. Yeah, I don't know if it's still a thing or not. It might be. I know people are still on there, but it's a, it's like a format, like a radio show on the internet, basically an internet radio show. Okay. Where you can come up with your own your show, and you can have any time of the week. You set a schedule. It could be people could call in, depending on how the setup is. Um, I had one uh, years ago, but I just. That wasn't that was what I was like kind of immature. I wasn't ready for it. So like the now I'm ready. ready for marriage. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, you were ready. Ready. See, you are ready. You are ready. I'm and to think our relationship started off with us not liking each other. And now we're cool. We've actually become friends. Yeah, I'm I'm bringing it back soon. Hopefully I can get it off. I've been yeah, busy. Well, let us know. We'll promote you. Yeah. But yeah, I enjoy it. Are y'all about to go? Uh, yeah, soon we're about to go. Yeah, we about to keep us. talking. You ready to keep talking? Unless keep you, talking. unless you got something else you want to talk about. Y'all have two or three before. hours on on there. How, you guys better check the news. Oh, okay. I was hoping for another topic or something or something. Yeah, oh, is there yeah. a topic you want to talk about? I had sex um, with him for an hour. Um. um what I, wonder, I wonder. I want to talk about dating preferences. Okay. Because when it when it comes to black men and who we if we date us outside our race, even when we don't disparage black women, even when we don't talk about black women, we still get a lot of slack for that. And I want to know why. 
because black women say they they be unbothered by it. They say, oh, you can go ahead and date who you want to date. As long as you keep our name out your mouth, you won't care who you date. Mm -hmm. But then I look online, I see a, what's the brother that got married? It was a brother, a celebrity who got married recently. He had to take his, was it Jay he had to take his, he had to take his photo down of his wife. He didn't he take his photo down. He turned Are off you his Are talking comments. about Jay Ellis here in the game? I think it was him. Was it him? Yes. He had to take his picture down because they was going in on the brother. They know that he had because to of, turn off originally, and they were going in about him turning off the comics because he uh figured that people was going to go in about his wife being white. They probably and were. As far as like uh black women and women that watch Insecure, we knew his uh I girlfriend was that. white. They him and that. Uh, okay, what you think about okay. years, They have a child together. We what were a, mad. Now, now here's a brother who I don't think said any disparaging things about black women. You know. He just murdered a white woman. But still, you got sisters. I see the comments myself. I was saying, I calling him, look, the, the typical sellouts. Oh, yeah, you must hate yourself. You must, well, I, I'm telling you what I'm saying. And I follow I'm a lot of black uh, on sites. Black I'm women are not raising about him marrying a white woman. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what I'm I think, I think, I think black dudes, I honestly I'm think black dudes are just listen. stuck in their heads. They want oh, no, no, to think that black women care. We don't. And just like you just said earlier in the show, you said you can't go by the social media stuff because people on social media are mi miserable. You have they to go by miserable. real life experiences. Black women are not coming up to JLS. Oh, you and a white women, they're not doing that. We're not doing that. You're, you're talking about trolls online. You're talking about trolls online, and most black women don't care who black men date. Y'all been dating women that aren't black for years. In fact, we're honestly shocked when you're with black women. Honestly. I hate to say it, but that's, that's the truth. So we I'll be shocked when, when, when a black dude is with a black woman. Like, well, I expect y'all to be with more we more shocked don't care. when we see the black and black together. Yeah, we're more shocked by I that. Lot, we're, like, we're not mad. Like yes, oh my God, I did not expect this wife to be black. Oh my God. Mm, that's what we said. We, we we say that, but we we don't care. We really yeah, don't. We don't yeah. care. At least these three women don't care. Yeah, and the, most of the black women that I know don't care. They just most of black women you know don't care. Yeah, and then you know what? Also, experience me and my sister have because we get this a lot. Where black dudes say this a lot. When we and me and my sister go out, like whether it's to the movies or out to eat or whatever, if ever there's a black guy with a white girl, they're staring us down. Yeah. They're staring us down. Hoping like they, you hoping make a we comment. Get, hoping that we if, and if we even look back at him. It's oh, they mad, they jealous, mm -hmm. they got they, attitudes. They not. Like we don't even say nothing. Like y'all staring us down, and we feel these eyes well, turning into us, and we look at them. All of a sudden, we got a problem with y'all relationship. No, maybe they, maybe they, they like they, maybe they like what they see. No, I think they want us to be jealous of the relationship. <laughs> like, I, I, so many temples, like, it's true. Hands, they, like, they, the, like the, the, the woman will grab them, like, oh, yeah. like, like, as if we're going to try to oh, steal them or something. Okay, like, that's, but that's our experience when we see black men with white women. And we don't care. Like, we are not bothered. Like, we have white aunts. We're not bothered about black men being with uh, white women or any other race of women. Okay, we, what you think about this? Stop, leave, they, like, leave us out of it. You can't even leave us out of it, even when you say you're not uh, doing disparaging remarks about it you're still bringing this up mm -hmm. what you think about the divestors i think they should divest <laughs> what's that well, okay what about them okay what about the ones who can't stand black men and say we, they like us getting killed by police in the streets no i don't think i've never heard a divestor say i like seeing black men get killed in the oh they call us bullet bags and oh we like when y'all get shot down you know they call us uh, what's the word they use uh nakers they like using that word yeah, I've all types of names they call. All types of names they call us. Well, you mean like the all because you you even use hair hat and who who again to me? You talk bad about black women to me. We get in arguments about that all the time. You're I just, opposite I just, end, and you want to you want to call out divestors when you're one of the black dudes that talk trash about black women online. You post videos of them this. twerking. You post videos of them doing bad stuff. You say that black women are destroying the community. Yes, him. You said that black women were destroying the community. You call out black women more than you call out black men online. You do. Can I, can and that's I, why we get into it. Is that true? That's, true. That's, true. that's why we get into can it. I, can I speak? Can I no, say something? Don't try to call out divesters. No, hold on. Don't try to call out divesters and say we're can out disparaging black men when we're not. I'm a divester. Can I, now, let me say, I, I, first of all, I never said black women should. We're not be. out here disparaging black men. Y'all out here disparaging black women as proof by lip gloss. 
I never said black women should get shot down in the streets. I never no, said black no, women. Y'all, should no, no, y'all, no, y'all, worse, y'all, worse, y'all, black women in the streets. Can I, black women are killed by I, black men every 5.5 5 hours. Y'all, y'all are doing more than talking. Y'all are acting. Y'all are doing uh, the work. The young lady in New York City that was pushing her baby in the stroller. That was Shot in the by head her, by her baby, baby dad. Daughter. Oh, yeah. That's, well, that's terrible. That's oh, terrible. pushing the stroller. And that's more and more common. How many stories have you seen of Black women killing their boyfriends on Facebook Live because they were mad about some child support? Mm. I've seen like I'm three black. videos of Black dudes killing their ex-wives and girlfriends because they mm. broke up and they had to pay child support. I've seen three videos of them live streaming, killing these women. Are you mad because they said, you, you fucking uh, bullet bags? They, aren't, they aren't, out, aren't out here shooting you, are they? Like y'all out here shooting black women. Well, like I said, they called out. Let the, so what? Let the divesters talk. They're talking. They're not acting. Well, now they, they, they actually are acting. They're out they're here actually, killing black women every five point well, five hours. They actually, you know they actually, actually talk about some damn divesters. When you I, disparage black women online. How, how, how do I disperse black you women? You have a whole fucking page on Facebook specific to calling out. Hood black girls. I You're talk more about, worried about twerking than you are black men killing each other. Can I can I finish? Go can ahead. Finish? Explain. Well, I talk about the behavior of black women. You should talk about the I behavior never, of black I never, men. I never, That's why y'all not talk, getting nowhere. How y'all leaders and all y'all focused listen. on is black women. Y'all not leaders being focused on black women. Uh, focus on yourself. I, I got what. Well, I got, because y'all the men, y'all the men. Why are y'all the women's business? Why is a woman twerking her car more detrimental than a man shooting another man or I'm a woman? Go. I'm gonna wait for us to finish. No, I'm finished now because that don't make no sense to me. Why you would call out the divesters before you would call out these black men? You asked for it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Another topic. You asked for it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Please, I'm waiting for it. Because I'm confused. I, I stopped talking. Go ahead, explain. Why are you calling out divesters before you call out black men? Because he a black man. And he exactly. Black men don't call another black men. They don't. Deflecting. They you don't. They always deflect now, now black she, women. It's always black women get mad. They do that. She, now she, always that. She, I never called out black men before. I never I called out black men. I have never seen it. Oh Not my God. God. You ain't create a PA. You ain't create a hood nigga page. Oh my God. No, I never know. Do, do our conversations. Do our conversations. I never call out black people. between us. That's not what you act like on social no. media. Well, at, no, I'm asking. The conversations we have, I never call out black men. After I, like, the Terrence, you ask, like, I Oh, no, no, no. This say yeah, no. This say yes or no. Yeah, so call him out now. Let's do it. No, I asked you a question. I said, our conversations we have, I never call out black men. I call out black men. Now, she, she not being honest. She not been, I swear she not been honest with you. She not, she, she won't answer the question. She won't, look at that, why she laughed before she won't answer the question. Do I ever call out black men? Do our conversations we talk? Am I lying? Do you call out black Yes or no? That's all you got to I Man, call you out first. <laughs> Be honest. You, ever you, don't, you don't. Black. You've never called me and just called out black men. You never. But have I ever? Have I ever called out black men? During our conversation, we had. Yes. Yes you or no? Called out black men after I baited. No, you. no. After nothing, I'm you always. Ba- I'm always fair. Yeah. I'm always fair, and I'm always so, balanced. And, and notice you. Everything I talk to today, you. just now, when the first thing you when went they, for was diabetes. When it comes to. Divestors is a new thing. It's a group of black women that are saying kind of like the Save Yourselves Black Man movement, which started way before the divestors. They're a group of black women saying, hey, just black men don't want us. Let's go where we're loved. Let's go be with other races of men and let's do that. The, They're not listen, like rampantly out here saying this. The, shit the, the, I, 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 told, I told I told Nisi the original the original mission statement when it came to divestment women was they was going to leave black men alone and focus on themselves. And I was like, that, I'm completely cool with that. I have no issue with that. The problem was when they started going into these men's spaces, they just don't leave it at their space. They go inside men's spaces. And even she guilty of this. She told me she go inside men's spaces 
where she knows she not wanted, where it's a man's face, knowing what they talk about. Is that them? Right I said, now? why would you? That's, that's why would you subject? Why would you subject yourself to something you don't like? That's you always, true. you all, you already know what these men talking about. You know what they about. You already know their talking points. You know their ideologies. You know how they think. Mm -hmm. Why would you, as a black woman, subject yourself to that type of, you know, something you don't like? Go where you want it and appreciate it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so, that's what so, black so women basically need. You're not taking your that's advice, what. You're doing it that's what. That's that's what. I do it for research purposes yes. because I I do it. I do. I do it for research because we have a show. We talk about these things. We're doing it right now. But I, okay. I, I do this for research purposes. And I also learned a lot. And then a lot of my feelings are validated for what I'm always thought. So I kind of go there to just confirm what I've already thought. But but the point you're trying to... And I, and I told and you. I don't I said, be talking to these people. I don't go back and forth. Like, I'm arguing with these people in these I say, listen, you, you, know, you know me, I'm I'm always honest. And if it's something I said, I'm going to stick to it and I, I, I won't backtrack. So when I asked you, do I ever call men out for a certain type of behavior when we're talking on the phone? You, you just completely want to get past that. Like I. Never talked about it. You, you, you didn't answer talk. yes or no, huh? You rarely talk about. I uh, rarely. I always talk about we, we, the conversation we just had. I, I gave you an example about how my, one of my boys, how he wasn't treating his woman good, and I said, "If you got a good woman, you need to treat her good." You know, if a woman is by your side, don't treat it like garbage. Don't treat it like trash. Be there for. Her. That was his that that was his wife. This is my homeboy I known for since middle school. I told him that. I said, listen, man, you gotta get your shit together. You got a woman right there, a black woman that's your wife. You better respect this woman because she's the one that's carrying your ass right now while you're going through hard times. I put I hold men accountable. If they doing some shit that I see is messed up, I can't sit by and say, hey man, I can't sit by and say nothing because that's not right. Yeah. I told you about the relationships I had. Right. I never talk about my relationships because I picked the wrong woman. I know that woman wasn't no good, but I chose to stay there with her because out of lust or whatever. But I held myself I accountable. I yeah, exactly. I had my I, I held myself accountable as a man and say, listen, I was in this relationship. I know this woman was for the streets, but I still chose to lay with her. That's on me. That's not that woman's fault. I can't blame her. I got to blame myself because I knew she wasn't no good when I got with her. I said, men started, I said, men, protect your sperm. Watch what women you get pregnant. You know, so you won't complain about child support and, and paying child support for 18 years. You got to know this woman before you lay with her. That's me holding men accountable. That's what, that's why the conversation. That that's the conversation. Why, why aren't you like that's talking the, about that? That's, that's the conversation. Why you don't, don't you don't know that more? You don't know the whole, you don't know the conversations I have. No, I mean, why don't you listen, like create pages for like that? I talk, I talk to brothers in, listen, I talk to brothers in real life. I talk to young brothers that are younger than me. You know what I'm saying? This online, sh this stuff you see, I don't get into that. I, the group I made that you talk, that you constantly bring up mm -hmm. about the women. Mm -hmm. What's the last post you seen me post anything about black women? It's been it's been almost damn near probably six or seven months. Cause I don't do it. I don't even be on online like that. I be in groups. I might leave a comment here on there, but I don't really be on some crusade of, against black women or what they need to what do or what they changed? need to fix. You have changed. You're not as like you used to be. I don't see you like really commenting online like I used to see. I haven't had to check all you the before. time. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. But I haven't had to check you before. <laughs> I mean, even by, even by this conversation, I hope you get a feel. Of, I hope all y'all get a feel of me. No, I, I always tell you, you, you make a lot of sense. A lot of the stuff you're saying don't be wrong. I honestly enjoyed this conversation. I'll well, I'm glad y'all. I'm and I wanted you to. I wanted to have this conversation because I wanted y'all to see the side of me and to see the things I got to say and to see that I do love black women. I appreciate black women, but it's a certain segment of black women that that make the whole look bad. Mm. Just like it's black men out here 
let, let me let, she she can't leave me. Let me finish. <laughs> yeah, like, I, 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 I was about to I was about to say you, you already know. You already know. I, I, she, she, that's why we had most of the conflict is come. You see, I I'm not doing nothing wrong, but this like it's black men out here. They got to do better, and we got to get stuff together. You know what I'm saying? We 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 can't. A, a lot of black men we scared we scared to approach black women. And then we complain about not getting picked. Well, you a man. You mm. got to make the first move. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You can't get discouraged because a woman look a certain type of way or she might cut you out. You got to take that chance. You can't be... That's how you get bitter. You know what I'm saying? That's how you be like, oh, oh, she ain't going to talk to me because she look like she got her, you know, her nose up in the air. She look like, nah, man, come on, man. Well, you got to have assuming some... Assuming the worst is an uh, issue. You had you yeah, you can't make assumptions yeah. until you talk to people. And then once they show you who you are, you have to make the decision whether you want to deal with that person or not. Yeah. It's up to you to make that decision whether you want to take that leap. You know, because that's the only way you're gonna find out about a person. If you talk to them, you conversate with them, you sit down, y'all talk, you get to know that person, and then you take it from there. Then if you if you if you see a red flag and you choose to ignore that red flag, That's you see more red flags, and then you choose to ignore that red flag and something go wrong, then you gotta blame yourself because the red flags was there. You know what I'm saying? The red flags, all the red flags was there, you chose to ignore them. That's on you. So I think when it comes to black men and women relationships, we do gotta do a better job at communicating. We can't make the assumptions of, oh, he might be like this or she might be like that. We just got to work on our communication skills better. So then we get together. You might meet your soulmate. You know what I'm saying? You might meet somebody, if, if it's not a relationship, a good friendship. Mm -hmm. I you know think what I'm saying? So, that trips us up is we have to understand, a lot of Black people don't understand that Black people, Black men, or Black women are not monoliths. Like we're all different. We all have different per personalities. We all have different interests to say, you know, your experiences with a couple of people is going to be your experience with all is ridiculous. None of us are exactly the same. Yeah. And I think that's where we make the mistake because we want to put each other in a bubble. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, we scared to go outside the box sometimes to try different stuff. You know, we want to stay in that bubble and we never want to experiment. We never want to go places. We never want to be around different people. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of us get bitter and we get complacent and then we get frustrated and then we say, oh, hell with this. Hell with the world. We hate everybody. That's true. <laughs> that's not the way to be. I don't want to be that's like that. Right. That's not. I that's love not like love you love me. That's it. But shoot, around the world, people is different because hey, yeah. California and Vegas is the place to be. I want to go. Everybody's friendly. I want to go. Everybody. I want to visit. I heard some things about parts of and, Cali. And they're kind of friendly. friendly. <laughs> where we wrong. go, well, of course, not where I used to live. Black people don't even live there no more, from my understanding. But but girl, Bacoima is Mexican down. Well, Cali was a part of Mexico. Yeah, and they <laughs> took their little part back. <laughs> but I like Anaheim. So, um, any anything else? That's pretty much it. Thanks for the, you know, the great conversation. It was, we appreciate you taking the time to, you know, come on our show. Thank you so much yeah. for doing this and, you know, Finally, get to meet my mom and my sister. So, <laughs> thank you. Did that backwards. Did you sorry, me your mom? my yeah, mom and my did. sister. Right. My bad. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but uh, right. thanks, Lloyd, for coming and doing yes, this. Yes, thank you. It was a great conversation. It was. Thank well, I, I thank y'all for having me. I hope we can do it again. Oh yeah. You know, I love to come back on if y'all have me back on. Yeah, definitely. If we're gonna be talking about things, maybe that you Have don't agree with us. Yeah, get your perspective. You being a male. Oh yeah, I got I got plenty to say. I got a lot to say. You know. Hey, so. All right. Well, we'll we'll definitely hit you up and have you on again. So you know, again, thank you so much. You know, I'll probably talk to you sometime later. Just uh, you know, probably you know, you know how I am. You know, and <laughs> I can get a little feisty. That's just me. But uh, yeah. thank you.
Ken Lloyd, and uh, we thanks for joining us on our show, Cocktails with T and the J's, y'all. Uh, have a great day, and just thank you for joining us. All right, have a good one. You, you too. too. Only put white boys with this hair, but I'm not mad, to be honest. If I asked you what a woman is, what would you say? I would say uh, a human being with uh, boobs. <laughs> you have to start there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the dictionary is quite straightforward. It just says a, a human vagina. adult female, yeah. right? No, a lot of people... Yeah, see, that's... Now, that's a little getting confusing. The whole he, she, they, that's, that's gonna... And I'm not rap. sure why, really. It's a, it's a bit like this whole issue of, of transgenders in sport. Because I, I, I support all trans rights to fairness and equality. Me too. But not where you have people born to obvious physical superior bodies... Me too. ...transitioning and then thrashing the women at their sport. I totally agree. And I, I will say this, and everybody's gonna hate me, but as a woman... Just because you go change your parts doesn't make you a woman. Right. Sorry. You feel that? I know that for a fact. Mm. Like, if you want me to call you a her, I will, because that's what you want. But that doesn't make you a woman just because I call you a her and just because you got a surgery. Because people do feel, feel that you, there's biological sex and then there's gender identity, that you right. can identify as whatever you like you can call in terms yourself of a gender. You want. Right? Yeah, That's totally. the freedom we live in. Absolutely. But actually, you can't change the mechanics of biological sex. They are what they are. Well, just every... Like, women go through just a, a completely unique experience. That, and, and, and surgery or, or, you know, finding yourself doesn't, doesn't change that. You know, being a, a little girl is, is a whole epic book, you know? And, and you, can't, you can't have that just because you want to be a woman. I mean, you know that you when, when people like J.K. Rowling have, have said this, mm -hmm. they get attacked, they get abused. Yeah. The cancel culture mob comes from me. She gets called. A, she gets called transphobic and so on. You might get the same for saying it. But it's the truth. I'm not. I, and I and the, and 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 I don't think you should be called transphobic just because you don't agree with. You know, I, I just there's a lot of you know, judgment and throwing you know stones at people for for just saying what it is, you know what I mean?